Hi, we're here with Rob Saucier at his booth, which is Galaxy Gaming. And Galaxy is, uh, is a full product table game company that each year has continued to grow and broaden its portfolio of products. Uh, Rob, tell us a little bit about that evolution of Galaxy. Isn't it funny, here we are again, once again at G2E, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger, but our company started uh, oh, maybe 17 years ago, and I think the first time we came to one of these shows, we had a little 10 by 10 booth, and we had one product, and that was uh, Lucky Ladies. And uh, from that one little product, Lucky Ladies grew to become the largest, most successful table game uh, in terms of the number of placements in the world. Uh, but uh, subsequent to that, we've kept introducing new and, and more and better products. And now we are the uh, largest independent table game company in the world. You're also a public company. Uh, tell us a little bit about what investors should know about Galaxy Gaming. Well, I, I think I'd start out by saying the same thing that every CEO would say about their company, and that is it's undervalued. And, and, and of course, you would expect to hear that. But I think the key for us is that there is a lot of hidden value in the company. The company uh, has very strong growth. The strong company uh, revenues are heavily weighted towards recurring. Pro approximately 98, 99% of our revenue is recurring. And our gross margins on that revenue over 95%. So we've been able to grow this company through our own retained earnings, and we've been able to, to do it internally uh, because we, we spin off huge amounts of cash. The one thing that we haven't done is we really haven't gotten the exposure in uh, the, the market from the standpoint of the stock. So the stock has not really rebounded, uh, is, is followed the progress of the company. Uh, and that could take off. I mean, the company itself is growing every quarter. Uh, maybe at some point uh, investors realize how undervalued it is and, and that could have a sudden surge. Uh, one general question and then we'll let you show us some of your uh, favorite products. Uh, if you were to look out three or five years from now, what will Galaxy look like then? Well, it's interesting, you know, with all this M&A activity, I, I think there's something that's going to happen, and, and uh, we don't anticipate that necessarily we're going to be acquiring, or uh, being acquired, excuse me, although somebody could make us a big offer where it makes sense for our shareholders. But we think we're very well positioned to be the acquirer, and there's a, a lot of acquisitions that we're looking at, and uh, we think uh, provide a lot of synergy. So three to five years out, I think you're going to see a much bigger company uh, we've already grown tremendously just in this last year, and, and we just see that uh, continuing. So we continue to be a major player in this industry, and I, I see that only growing both organically with the products that we have, new products we're coming out with, but also uh, we have our eyes on some acquisition targets. And, and as you acquire, will you continue to broaden your portfolio and perhaps move into areas like interactive and online and social? A little bit, not not so much the online and social, um, and and some of that is we do have uh, an online partner that's a, a Games Network, and so uh, I just found out uh, uh, today at the show that uh, in a very short period of time, I think in a couple of weeks, uh, some of our products are going to go live on PokerStars.com. So we do have a presence online, uh, but as we all know about the online business. It's not as big as everybody thought it, it's going to be. So uh, we're relatively conservative on what the revenue is we think we're going to get from that. Uh, we really think that, that the core business that we've been doing, these land-based casinos uh, and, the, and the physical tables like what you see here, this has been the big growth story for us. And we think that's going to be the big growth story for us in the future, as well as a product we have called Spectrum Vision, uh, which, which may be we believe is going to totally revolutionize, and I use that word sparingly, revolutionize the table game business. Well, Rob, is that as a segue, let's take a look at that game, and then if you want to show us maybe one other, uh, we'd like to see it. So I'll show you one game, and I'll show you the SpectreVision product, which is not a game, but uh, we'll, we'll show that. It's pretty exciting. Great. We're ready. Very good. So, Frank, this game has been getting the most attention at the show. Uh, this game is called High Card Flush. We actually started to introduce it 
at last year's show, but this game has just taken off. It's like a rock star. It is it is rocking the, the world. It starts out with a simple wager, the ante wager. It's the only required wager. And there's two additional proposition wagers, the flush and the straight flush. This game is based upon the, the a number of cards that somebody gets that are of the same suit. That's it. It's not poker. It's not blackjack. It's very simple. It's how many cards of the same suit that you get. So we look over. Well, already I can see I have spades. So if I look at this, I have I have a lot of spades. So here I have I have five spades, and then I have two other cards. The only thing that matters to me is the cards of the same suit. So I'm going to collect all these spades, and I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to wager. Now because I have five spades, this game allows me to increase the number of my wager. So I'm going to double and actually go three units from what my original wager is. Okay. Now the dealer is going to do the same thing, and the dealer is going to look for their hand. And the dealer has three hearts. Well, it's the number of cards. So my five cards are going to be her three cards. So she's going to pay me on both of these. But now let's take a look at what the prop bets are. You'll see that on the flush bet, what do I have there? Five card flush. Five card flush with a three card straight. Your five card flush pays ten to one, and your three card straight pays seven to one. So show them the three card straight flush. That's those. Three card straight flush is going to be your three, four, and five. Great. Okay. It's as simple as that. People can learn this game right away. So this is our hot new game, and it's just absolutely taking off for us. Thanks, Frank. So this this next item I want to show you is something brand new. We just deb debuted it today at the first day of the show, it's called Spectrum Vision. And what Spectrum Vision is, is it's a way to detect illegal card markings on cards. The inventor of this made his living by detecting old master's paintings. So if you took an old master's painting and what you had was a picture painted over another picture, so if you think of, of the old masters, they would paint on canvas, maybe they didn't like the painting, they would paint over the top of it. He invented the technology that can be used to look behind the surface painting and see the painting behind that. A lot of times this was used by museums, art galleries, art collectors all over the world, not only to determine what the painting was beneath the surface painting, but also to authenticate that the painting was in fact real. Uh, his clients include people like Steve Wynn who spend many millions of dollars on these types of paintings. We use this technology now to be able to determine markings on cards. In fact, this technology is so powerful, we can take a look at playing cards that are face down and we can see right through them and see the faces of the cards on the other side. But more importantly what this does is this actually detects marked cards. Now, when we were preparing for the show, one of the things that we did was we ended up going to a local retail store and we bought decks of playing cards that were canceled cards, actual cards that came out of casinos. And as we were examining these cards, we noticed that a lot of the cards that we bought were already marked. So what that tells us is these cards were already marked in the casinos and the casinos didn't know about them. We've also used this in a case with a, a gaming control agency to help them prosecute a case of a marked card case. So the gaming agencies are very excited about this. Uh, the amount of orders that we've had just since we introduced this thing today has been phenomenal. We call this Spectrum Vision. Thank you. Okay, yes, now I can see it. No, you can cover, cover your glasses. Well, I, I'm going to see 10 times better. Right. So